Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 23rd and 24th March. First question is, what is the theme of 2019 International Day of Forest? Right answer is forest and education. Every year on 21st of March, International Day of Forest is celebrated and the theme of this year was forest and education. If we talk about few other important days of March, first March is Zero Discrimination Day and the theme of Zero Discrimination Day was Act to Change Laws That Discriminate. 3rd of March is World Hearing Day. 3rd of March is also World Wildlife Day and the theme is Life Below Water for People and Planet. 7th of March is celebrated as Jan Oshdi Divas in India while 8th of March is International Women's Day. The theme of International Women's Day was Think Equal, Build Smart, Innovate for Change. On the other hand, every year on the second Thursday, World Kidney Day is observed and the theme of this year World Kidney Day was Kidney Health for Everyone Everywhere. 15th of March is World Consumer Rights Day and the theme is Trusted Smart Products while 20th of March is World Sparrow Day and the theme is I Love Sparrows and 22nd of March is World Water Day. Next is who is the recipient of 2018 Vyas Samman? Right answer is Leela Dhar Jugadi. Hindi writer Leela Dhar Jugadi will be honored with Vyas Samman 2018 by KK Birla Foundation for his collection of poems Jitne Log Utne Prem. If we talk about few other awards, recently DRDO chief Mr. G. Satish Reddy was given Missile Systems Award by American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. On the other hand, recently Brazilian physicist and astronomer Mr. Marcelo Glaser has been awarded Templeton Prize and Mr. Raghu Karnad has won the 2019 Windham Campbell Prize for his debut book The Farthest Field an Indian Story of Second World War and former RBI governor Mr. Raghuram Rajan has been honored with 2018 Yashwantrao Chauhan National Award apart from him the former isro scientist mr nambi narayanan has been conferred the 2019 padam bhushan award and professor karen ulhenbeck has become the first woman to win a bell prize a bell prize is considered as the nobel of mathematics next is which country's team has clinched the 2019 saff women's championship right answer is india india has clinched the 2019 saff women's championship India has won this championship fifth time in a row. India won by defeating Nepal. This event held in Nepal. If we talk about Nepal, it is a landlocked country. The capital of Nepal is Kathmandu. The president of Nepal is Ms. Vidya Devi Bhandari, while the prime minister of Nepal is Mr. K. P. Sharma Oli. Nepal was also in news because of New Delhi Declaration on Asian Rhinos. This declaration for the conservation and protection of rhino species was signed between five countries. These are India, Bhutan, Nepal, Indonesia and Malaysia. Apart from that, recently Mr. Nilambar Acharya has been appointed as the new Nepalese ambassador to India. Nepal was also in news because of Festival of India event. The objective of this event is to familiarize the new generation about the cultural similarities between India and Nepal. Nepal also banned Indian currency notes above rupee 100. Next is Jimmy Carter who is in news recently is from which country right answer is USA Mr Carter who was the 39th president of USA has reached a new milestone and become the longest living president in US history there was one more president of USA which was in news recently Mr George H W Bush who was a former president of USA passed away recently if we talk about USA recently the second USA North Korea summit held in Vietnam in Hanoi. Mr Trump is the president of USA while Mr Kim Jong Un is the president of North Korea. The first summit between USA and North Korea held in Singapore. USA was also in news because of SPD4. SPD4 stands for Space Policy Directive 4. Recently, Mr Trump signed an executive order SPD4 to establish its space force as a new military service within department of air force apart from that usa was also in news because of asia reassurance law 
USA and Israel also left UNESCO. The headquarters of UNESCO is in Paris in France. Israel was also in news as it has become 38th member of FATF. FATF stands for Financial Action Task Force and the headquarters of FATF is also in Paris in France. Both USA and Israel were also in news because as per the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute report, Israel is the second largest arms supplier to India. USA is third largest arms supplier while Russia is the largest arms supplier. If we talk about imports, Saudi Arabia is the world's largest arms importer. India is second largest and Egypt is third largest arms importer. Next is the researchers of which country have find cost effective method for hydrogen fuel production. Right answer is USA. So recently the researchers from University of Arkansas and Argonne National Lab in USA have identified more cost effective and efficient way of producing hydrogen fuel by splitting water. If we talk about few other universities which were in use recently, recently the MIT that is Massachusetts Institute of Technology have developed optical imaging system Dolphin for finding tiny tumors. On the other hand, recently the Jean Monnet Center of Excellence for European Studies was inaugurated in Jawaharlal Nehru University in India. Apart from that, recently Cambridge University have built a virtual reality 3D model of cancer. Next is the researchers at which university in USA have developed a new method to purify water used in oil refinement. Right answer is Purdue University. So the researchers at Purdue University have developed a new process to remove all traces of oil in the produced water which is a byproduct from the oil refinery and extraction process. Next is which union ministry has released national guidelines on responsible business conduct. So answer is MCA that means Ministry of Corporate Affairs. MCA has recently released a national guidelines on responsible business conduct. These guidelines urge businesses to actualize the principles in letter and spirit. If we talk about MCA, few important organizations are under MCA. These are SFIO that means Serious Fraud Investigation Office, IICA that means Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs, Competition Commission of India, NCLT that means National Company Law Tribunal and NCLAT that means National Company Law Appellate Tribunal. So if we talk about Competition Commission of India, it is a statutory body. It is responsible for enforcing the Competition Act of 2002. The Competition Commission of India was formed in 2003. The headquarter is in New Delhi and presently Mr. Ashok Kumar Gupta is the chairman. If we talk about NCLT, it was in news recently. NCLT has been set up under Companies Act and it was in news because government has recently approved establishment of two new benches of NCLT. One bench will be in Amravati in Andhra Pradesh and other bench will be in Indore in Madhya Pradesh. Presently, there are 14 benches of NCLT and the principal bench is in New Delhi. So one bench will be in Amravati and another one will be in Indore. Indore was also in news recently as it has been given the award of cleanest city of India as per Swatch Survection 2019. Next is who has been appointed as new chief of naval staff. Right answer is Mr. Karamveer Singh. So Vice Admiral Mr. Karamveer Singh has been appointed as the next chief of naval staff. Mr. Singh will be the successor of Mr. Sunil Lamba who will retire on 31st of May. If we talk about few other appointments recently Supreme Court of India has appointed senior advocate Mr. P.S. Narsimha as mediator for resolving various disputes related to cricket administration. In addition to that, court had also appointed Mr. D.K. Jain as first court appointed ombudsman for BCCI. BCCI stands for Board of Control for Cricket in India. On the other hand, recently Election Commission of India has appointed transgender social activist Gauri Savant as election ambassador from Maharashtra. And it is first time that a transgender has been appointed as election ambassador in India. On the other hand, recently Mr. Sushil Chandra 
who is the former CBDT chairman, has been appointed as election commissioner. The chief election commissioner is Mr. Sunil Aroda, and two election commissioners are Mr. Susil Chandra and Mr. Ashok Lavasa. Mr. Susil Chandra was former CBDT chairman, so now new CBDT chairman is Mr. Pramod Chandra Modi. CBDT stands for Central Board of Direct Taxes. Apart from that, recently Ms. Padma Lakshmi has been appointed as Goodwill Ambassador by UNDP. UNDP stands for United Nations Development Program, and Mr. Ajit Kumar Mohanty has been appointed as the new director of BARC. BARC stands for Bhabha Atomic Research Center. And former Supreme Court judge and current member of NHRC, that is National Human Rights Commission, Mr. Pinaki Chandra Ghosh, has been appointed as India's first Lokpal. Next is ESPN Cricket Info has tied up with. which iit to launch superstats artificial intelligence tool to analyze cricket statistics right answer is iit madras so espn cricket info has partnered with iit madras to launch superstats it is a next level artificial intelligence tool to analyze cricket statistics if we talk about few other iits which were in news recently iit khadakpur has signed a memorandum of understanding with cdac to set up india's first state of art high performance computing facility cdex stands for center for development of advanced computing on the other hand recently iit roorkee has signed a pact with isro to set up an isro iitr space technology cell apart from that recently iit ropad has developed a app the name of app is roshni it will help visually impaired people to recognize indian currency notes iit hyderabad has developed a smartphone based sensor to detect milk adulteration and iit hyderabad has also launched india's first btech course in artificial intelligence iit madras has developed microprocessors named rice creek under project sakti iit khadakpur has developed national digital library of india iit khadakpur has also started 6 months course on artificial intelligence while iit kanpur has developed a online portal tradewill to help people to cope up with mental health issues next is on which date the 2019 world poetry day is celebrated right answer is 21st of march so 21st of march is celebrated as world poetry day thank you and that's all for the day